Okay, welcome to Minecraft, but I can order any item. In this video, I can use coins to order any item I want from the Minecraft shop. This shop contains any item you could ask for, from cake to an elytra. Will I make enough money to buy full netherite armor? Watch until the end to find out. And guys, we somehow just hit 600,000 subscribers with only 15 videos, which is actually crazy. But still, not crazy enough, okay? We gotta speedrun YouTube even faster. Last month, over 13 million people who watched my videos weren't actually subscribed. And if even 5% of those viewers did subscribe, we would get to 1 million. So if that includes you, you should definitely go ahead and join the Before 700k Club by subscribing. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Lastly, let's aim for 7 likes today and without any more delay, let's go. Okay, so today we are going to be attempting to make as much money as possible in Minecraft. So the first thing that I want to do is grab myself one advancement. The easiest one for me to get right now is definitely going to be mining stone. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a wooden pickaxe and then something crazy is about to happen, okay? Let's go ahead and just do this and then pick up the stone. And as you can see, I now have three brand new items. So the first one is a cheap money bag. And if I just go ahead and right click this, as you can see, I have earned pennies. Now, these pennies are the key to getting amazing items from this market block. So as you can see right here, I can spend these on things like oak logs or lapis or iron and like the rarest items like a totem or an elytra or a trident are very expensive. But every single time I complete an advancement, I will earn another money bag and after getting 15 advancements, I will get a large money bag each time and those contain a ton of coins. So basically as we progress, we'll earn more and more money and I'll just get really open items from the market. The other item that I have is called a wallet and I can put my pennies inside of this and then as you can see in the top left it shows how much I have and using this money I can buy any item I want from the market. So I think first of all what I'm gonna do is buy some food. Um, We have 12 cooked salmon, 10 steak. Dude these cakes are kind of tempting though. I don't know what I want to get. Um, I think I'll go for the steak to be honest. One steak, purchase, and there we go. I have one penny left so what I'm thinking is using it on this iron ingot because that'll give me an advantage advancement, I think. Actually, I don't even know if it will. Let's just do it. There we go. Yeah, it does. Acquire hardware. There we go. So now I have another cheap money bag and that gives me two pennies. The money bags can give you either one or two pennies. So we're getting kind of lucky right now, actually. Oh yeah. And I can use this sell items menu to actually sell my items back. So if I go like for a mining trip, I can sell diamonds for two coins. If I get like a village or a bunch of wood, I can sell these for coins. And there's like other ways that I can earn them. But right now, I think the best way is just to keep getting advancements. So what I'm actually going to do is put my pennies in the wallet and then spend it on some iron because I can unlock another advancement, which is having an iron pickaxe. So we're just going to go ahead and do this, and we're about to earn another money bag. There we go. Bang. Another two pennies. Dude, I'm getting so lucky. I think I'm just going to start saving up now because I have some really good basic materials. Like I can make some tools and I have an iron pickaxe already. So we're going to start running around and just like exploring now, I think, and just trying to get like even more advancements. Ooh, and I think I just found a ruined portal. Okay. Oh yeah, I have an iron pick, so this is really good. If there are gold blocks, yup, we found one. Okay. We can sell the gold for money and we can spend it on things like diamonds. So this is actually really good. Anything in the chest, we have a Nort Chapel. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I can sell that. And then we got a golden helmet, a golden sword, and just like some other basic stuff. The flint and steel is quite good, actually. Second gold block right here. So let's just go ahead and mine this. There we go. And now we can start selling things. So how much does five gold ingots gives me one coin? All right, I'm going to sell all of this, honestly. Like, we're just going to get as many coins as possible. We have five in total right now. Dude, I could have enough for an elytris, dude. This is actually insane. Diamonds cost me two coins, okay? Netherite scraps cost me one coin. So I could actually actually get like a netherite thing really early on, like a saddle, blaze rods. Okay, yeah. Enchanted golden apple sells for one coin. I'm going to sell this definitely. Wait, dude, there's a village right here. Okay, this could be really good because I think you can sell hay bales as well. And I could even buy emeralds. Oh, I found a blacksmith. Okay, dude, a diamond, three iron and some bread. Okay, and I got another advancement for getting diamonds. Okay, dude, we're earning so much money and another two pennies. But yeah, what I can do is buy emeralds and then trade with villagers to get things like ender pearls and just like some food and stuff. So this is actually really really good. Let's just go ahead and kill this golem first before we like do anything else. So let me just, oh no, no, no. And then let's just do this. 
There we go, seven iron in total right now, which is really good. Okay, I might even sell some of the iron and buy something else that's going to be like a bit more useful, like uh, an elytra maybe. Like honestly, getting that quite early could be really good. I definitely want to collect as many hay bales as possible because this is honestly just like free money right now. So we've already sold one and in total, I have nine coins, which is really good. Wait, dude, should I just do this? Should I just buy the elytra straight away? There's so many things I can buy. I don't know what I want to get, dude. Um, Like an enchantment table is only three any of these potions? Oh, a potion of village hero. Dude, I'm in a village, so like having a village hero potion could be a really good thing. Let's just do it, okay? How long does it last for? Nine seconds. Uh, okay. Well, I don't really know if that was worth it, but like I can basically get a really big discount on something. So which villager would I even want to trade with right now? Um, I could trade or oh, dude. Wait, I have a really good idea. Can I sell emeralds? Six emeralds for one coin. Okay. I can glitch the system right now by selling wheat to a farmer for a discounted price in those nine seconds. And then I can sell all of the emeralds back to the market and have so many coins. And we can just get our elytra and like maybe a diamond piece or something. Ooh, there's a horse here too. Dude, I can get a saddle. Wait, wait, wait. That is definitely something I want to buy right now. Literally, it only costs one coin. So that's such a good investment. Okay, there's a villager right here. Turn into a farmer, dude. Yes, there we go. And he has the wheat trade. So I have all of the wheat left in this village right here. We have like quite a lot. And if I just go ahead and drink up this... Here we go. Trade with me. 12. Dude, okay. I need to be so quick. I need to be so quick. Go, 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 go. Dude, I'm about to be rich. I'm about to be so rich. 14 emeralds right now. Let's go. We now have nine coins, which means that I can buy myself an elytra. Do I want to do this? Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. Okay. There we go. And we got an advancement too. All right. We're only a couple minutes in and I have an elytra. Let's go. Yo, are you good? This villager just got inside of his composter. Okay. And we got four coins in total from these uh cheap money bags. I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy myself one bucket of puffer fish and then a totem could be really good dude i don't know i want to get myself some kind of weapon there's a crossbow here and there's also a trident i'm just gonna go for the trident dude let's go it only costs three so i think that's worth it and then with my final one i'm just gonna buy myself a piece of obsidian to get another advancement because i am so big brain come on give me two no it only gave me one okay whatever wait hold up i have four pieces of obsidian right now literally all i need for an enchantment table right now is one coin so i'm gonna sell some of that excess iron that we have. I'll just sell like one. Go ahead and put this in my wallet and what we can do is buy another diamond which means that as soon as I get a book which is going to be pretty easy. Um, I think that was a cow like yeah there's one right here. Okay there we go. We have our leather. Oh yeah and if I tame this horse I'll get another money bag which is going to be really good. And as soon as we've earned 15 money bags we're going to start getting expensive money bags that contain like 10 coins each. So we're just going to be able to get like oh there we go it tamed. We're going to be able to get so much stuff it's going to be insane. Anyway I think I'm done with this village so we're just going to take our horse and to run. Oh, I found even more wheat, dude. Okay, this is kind of good, actually. Yes, I found sugarcane. Okay, we're about to make our E table, which is going to also give us another advancement, which is good. This goes like this, and we got to put the obsidian here, and there we go. We have an enchantment table. Now we're going to sell two of our hay bales, and we're just going to do this and get our lapis. There we go. And I'm just going to enchant something random like my pickaxe so we get another money bag. There we go. And we have two coins. Cool. Oh, wait, dude, the enderpearls and blaze rods sell for so many coins. I actually think maybe maybe I might go to the nether. That might be even quicker. Because if I trade with piglins, I can get so many pearls and like we already have quite good gear. Like an elytra is going to make it quite easy. Yeah, okay. We're going to go ahead and go down this cave and we're going to start mining and then eventually go to the nether, I think. I'm going to leave this puff of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's karma. No, 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 no. Go in. Okay. He's fine. Is this cruel? All right, we, we don't talk about it, okay? And I found some iron. There we go. We're going to be able to sell this for one coin already. Honestly, if I can get some diamonds, we are going to be rich. Coal already. Okay, this sells for quite a lot too. Like, we need 12 for one coin. Ooh, some gold. Okay, this is very good. I think it's a good vein as well. Yes, dude, we have six. Okay, I found another vein of gold. This is actually an eight vein, so we're doing really good. Ooh, and I found a cave. Okay, and diamonds. Let's go. Lap is right next to it too. We're rich, dude. We are actually rich. All of these sell for two coins each, which means that I can just like, spend it all on. I don't even know. Do I want to even sell these? Like, okay, I'm going to buy a blast furnace right now so I can smelt up all of my uh, iron and gold. And I'm going to keep two diamonds for a sword and then I'm going to sell the other five. So let's just go ahead and do this. And we got 10 coins from that. Now what I can do is buy myself some obsidian. 
Oh, dude, wait, what? That was a lot of obsidian. Okay, I did not mean to buy that much. Oh, no, and that cost five coins. Wait, can I sell this back? We now have 12 obsidian with three coins left over, and I can start selling some of this. So we can sell our gold for some coins there, and then we can also sell some iron for even more. Okay, we have nine coins in total. I'm going to make an iron chest plate to make sure that we don't die, and then... Oh, and we got another money bag. Let's go. Okay, diamond sword, and then we put it in the enchantment table, and we're going to give it sharpness one. And netherite scraps only cost me one coin. So if I buy three of these and then also just like one more thing of gold. Oh wait, no, I need one more. Okay. And now I think I should be able to craft myself. Yeah, there we go. A netherite ingot. Let's go, dude. Place down a smithing table and we now have ourselves a netherite sword, which is going to do a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. We're going to go for the ultimate money making method right now, which is going to be using the nether. I'm just going to sell blaze rods and ender pearls. Oh, I just got another money bag. Let's go. But yeah, we're going to sell blaze rods and ender pearls to basically get enough money to buy even more blaze rods and ender pearls. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of like, what? But we're going to do it okay, because that way I'll be able to buy a bunch of diamonds and get like full netherite, and it's going to be amazing. We are in the nether now. We have another money bag. We have four extra pennies, which is good. Oh, and also I saw firework rockets, I think. So we can just start flying around here. And I might even buy one potion of fire resistance as well, just to be safe. And let's see if we can fall, oh, dude. No way. Literally right here. For my videos, I use something called filtered seeds, which makes it so that there's always a nether fortress and a bastion in the like spawn area of the nether. Oh dude, I got another money bag. Okay, yeah. So because I'm using a filtered seed, the way it works is there's always a bastion in the positive, positive quadrant. So literally like a hundred blocks that way, there should be a bastion. You know what? We're going to check it right now, actually. Yep, there we go. It's literally right here in the uh, like 110 coordinates. If you guys want to use seeds like these for your videos, then I'll leave the generator down below because it's actually so cool. Like it makes speed running really fun. And if you guys want to see me do some speed runs, with filtered seeds, then go over to my Twitch right after you finish watching this video. I'll be live for the first like three hours after I upload this, so it should be pretty fun. Anyway, we're gonna go into this bastion. I think this bastion is a housing, which is actually the best bastion. Like, it's so good, dude. So what I'm gonna do is dig straight through this wall, and below here, there's a bunch of gold blocks. Like, I think there's eight in total. So we're just gonna start mining these. Oh, dude, I should just sell this gold. I don't even need to trade. I can hear the piglins coming. Oh, no, dude. We have eight in total right now. Okay, how- Oh, no, 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 that's a brute- Oh my, okay. We're fine. That was way too close. I'm so used to being in point one where there's no brutes, dude. Oh no, dude, they're all here. Oh, I got a rich money bag. I got my monster hunter achievement. Okay, now the rich money bag gives you a lot, a lot of coins. Look at this. We're at three. Oh, we got a nickel, dude. These are worth five coins and then the pennies are worth one. So if I put all of these in my wallet right now, we have 18, dude. And then how much can I sell the uh, these gold blocks for? Um, I can get 14 coins from selling this gold. Okay, I think that's honestly the best bet because if I trade for pearls, it could be better, but like, I don't want to risk it, dude. Okay, we're selling all of this. Okay, let's run around and loot the chests. Maybe we can get like another gold block or something, but I need to be very careful because obviously there's brutes like absolutely everywhere. Uh, we have, what did I just get? War pigs. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a netherite scrap. I can sell that. Okay. And then I got an iron block as well, which I can definitely sell. Or I might even use that for armor, to be honest. We're kind of like lacking on armor right now. Uh, anything good inside of here? Ancient debris. I will sell that. Okay. And another rich money bag. Where did it go? Oh, it's in my, it's in my inventory. No, 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 no. Oh my, that was way too close. I was literally about to go into the lava. Okay, check this out. Bang, bang. We got 11 more coins. Dude, I can probably just buy my blaze rods right now, but I want to go to the fortress and just make even more money. We're going to be so rich, dude. I want full diamond armor. We're not settling. 43 coins in total. Okay, this is so good. We still have firework rockets, so let's just go ahead and head straight back to the fortress. See you later, Bastion. And it was literally just right here. That was a blaze spawner too, so this is definitely very good. Yes, there's a spawner right here. Okay, this is good. Oh no, I need to drink my fire res. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. I need to remember, we don't actually have much armor yet, so I'll be able to to, uh, get some armor later, though. Another money bag. Let's go. We have another nickel. We're about to make so much money, dude. I kind of keep forgetting about advancements, honestly. Like, there are so many things that I can do. I should have traded with the piglin, too. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get a bunch of blaze rods, and then I will be right back. And there we go. We have 12 blaze rods. I think I'm just gonna leave because I'm getting kind of low. And then I'm gonna sell five of these for 10 coins. So we have 66 in total right now. I'm gonna buy six netherite scraps so I can make two more netherite ingots because we're about to have like a bunch of gold from our blast furnace. So now I can just go ahead and do this and we have two more netherite ingots. Okay. And we're about to buy so many diamonds, dude. Like we definitely have enough money. So let's just go ahead and do it. 11 diamonds. There we go. And then I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe, I think. Okay. Diamond pickaxe. And then also 
should I make a diamond? Nah, I'll make diamond leggings because I already have an elytra. This goes in the smithing table and we got another rich money bag and then we have netherite leggings. There we go. Bang. And we have even more money. Actually, to be fair, I do need ender pearls. So I'm gonna have to spend 14 on these and then the rest of my money can go on like diamond blocks or something. Uh, One diamond block is 14. So we can do this and then make ourselves full diamond, I think. Wait, hold up. Helmet, boots. Oh no, it's cursed of binding. Are you kidding? I swear I get cursed of binded every single video. Like it's actually insane. Okay, netherite helmet. There we go. Oh, oh no, dude. Can I like break the helmet by getting hit by these blazes? I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh no, 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 no. That's not a good idea. That's definitely not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna make my pickaxe netherite as well because I just want to go overkill, dude. So let's go ahead and do this and then do this and then we can enchant it as well. I'll enchant my other pieces as well. Protection one, protection one and efficiency one. Okay, I think we're ready to go, honestly. So all I gotta do now is just go like this way. And if I travel at like 150, 150, or just like kind of near there, I'm guaranteed to be very close to the fortress. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. And then we can just light the portal. The flint and steel actually came in kind of handy. I didn't have anything to light this portal. So we can actually buy one. And now we are back in the overworld. Okay, stronghold is this way. So if I just start flying, it probably won't be very far. Oh, and it went backwards. Okay, it's gonna be very nearby. I bet it's this one. I bet it's this. Oh no, it's this chunk right here. Okay. Now we just gotta go ahead and dig down right here and we should be right on top of the stronghold staircase. So... Oh, dude, that was so quick. Okay, and then we have another money bag just in case I need to buy anything else like a diamond chest plate for the end fight. Okay, I found the library. Maybe there's gonna be a good book. Hopefully. No way, dude. Shop three. That is actually perfect. Okay, anything else? We have Depth Strider 2, Fire Aspect 1. I mean, we... Ooh, Riptide 3. Dude, I have a trident as well. Okay, well, for three coins, I can buy myself an anvil. So we can go ahead and make ourselves some godly weapons right now. We have a Shop 3 Netherite Sword and then a Riptide 3 Trident. There we go. I'm actually gonna buy some wood and also a bunch of string because I want to be able to use beds on the dragon to kill it like super quickly. Okay, we gotta speed run this. Oh, water. There we go. Now I can actually use my trident. Wait, what? Dude, I found the portal room but with like a different entrance. Okay, well, there we go. I think I have everything I need. I'm just gonna toss out like the extra stuff and I might as well just spend the rest of my coins. So we're gonna buy a crossbow and then some arrows so I can shoot down the like tower things. Oh, dude, I kind of want a totem actually. Um, um, okay, I'm gonna sell my iron. Anything else I can sell? I can sell one ender pearl, actually. Yep, there we go. Okay, we have a totem on dying now. Anything else that could be useful? A potion of levitation. Um, a potion of strength. Okay, yeah, that's my final coin. It's going on the strength pot. Here we go. We are finally ready. Goodbye, market block. You have served me well. Let's do this. Oh, another money bag. Okay, well, it's kind of useless now. Okay, let's place down some water and then charge up our trident. And if we just launch ourselves into the air, we can now start using our elytra and crossbow to start getting these crystals. Literally, the only two left are the ones that are in the cages. So let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, dude, I'm getting kind of low. Drink up our strength potion and just do this. Then block clutch and bang. All of the crystals are done already, dude. Now I'm going to craft all of my beds. We have so many, dude. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're going all the way up here. And we are going to get our beds at the ready with an ender pearl as well. Oh, the dragon's about to come down. Okay, uh, we just got to do this. Please work, dude. I really hope this works. I'm definitely going to mess up, but we got to try, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Dude, this is insane. Five. Come on. Yes, let's go, dude. That actually worked. Yeah, I'm a god at Minecraft speedrunning. It's whatever. Anyway, that's all for this video. As I said before, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch right after I upload this. So come say hi. I'm going to be speedrunning and it's going to be super cool. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later. Peace.